Hello and welcome to another edition of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem, a show where we answer your most pressing questions about the most recent episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved, which was Edgar Allan Poe. All the questions we're answering today came from you guys via our BuzzFeed Unsolved Facebook page, our BuzzFeed Unsolved Instagram page, as well as directly on the video on Bun. Although today we didn't get any questions from Facebook because no one asked any questions. What's going on, Facebook? Didn't mean to shame you like that, but maybe you should pick your game up. I know this isn't uh, supposed to be very much a topical show in terms of what's going on at, uh, in the world at large. However, make sure you're washing your hands and uh, practicing social distancing when you can so we can curb uh, COVID-19. Yes, one way to stay safe is to stay inside and watch BuzzFeed Unsolved. You know I me, mean? how much did you know about the episode going into it? Uh, not much. I'm familiar with his works. I knew that he died kind of young. I didn't see the John Cusack film. <laughs> All right, let's move into questions about Edgar Allan Poe. Here we go. Here we Poe. Let's take it over to Graham Town. Let's start over at Graham Town. You keep it down. Here's just vibing, guys. Could Edgar have been abducted, not by ruffians for voting fraud, but by extraterrestrial experiments? Starting off with a banger. <laughs> no, he could not have been. No. That's dumb as hell. I don't think so because there's no evidence to suggest, to suggest that. If there was any kind of abduction from an would extraterrestrials, it, you would have seen some kind of mass level It event. actually would be pretty funny if aliens abducted people and then the UFOs just shit out their bones. <laughs> what the fuck? Just squirting it out the tailpipe like a wood chipper? <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> I just feel like people would have seen that. Today might be a little easier for UFOs to hide under the guise of like an airplane or something like that. But yeah, back, back then, then you see something in the sky that's not a bird, what is it? I think one of the theories we presented though may have happened. That's why I presented them. I'm gonna answer this question. It's a good question, but also because the username is very fun. From Instagram, still in Graham Town, this comes from Trash for Sleep. But what happened to Elmira's other man? Wasn't she with another man and Edgar, the poor dude, left sad? Why did they get engaged again? I saw some people giving us flack for being a little hard on Elmira for leaving Edgar. Yeah. And I, I looked more into it, realized we may have made a boo-boo. Yeah, what it is is she, uh, Edgar went to school. Yeah. And he's writing letters to her. Yeah. You know, like, I love you, whatnot, things like that. I wouldn't care for this if I were her. Imagine these letters. A little weird. You, you, think, they're, you think they're like, hey babe, can't wait to see you again. Or do you think they're like, I've, I hold you dear in my bosom. Probably a lot of bosom talk. A lot of sweaty bosom talk, sweaty, probably. Sweaty, sweaty bosom. My sweaty, sweaty bosom grows sweatier by the day. C continue with what you were saying. Her dad does not approve of this union. He blocks these letters. Elmira never sees them. And she thinks, oh my God, Edgar forgot about me and then marries another dude. Is that what happened? Yes. Oh, so oh, like, that's while, cool. They it's like the notebook. Well, they were engaged. And then, Is oh, that oh, like the yeah. notebook? It's like the notebook. I waited for you. So she marries another dude. And then that dude eventually dies. I think he died from pneumonia. Uh huh. Um, and as then, you do. And then after that, she reconnects with Edgar. So in fact, their love was as true as snow, or pure as snow. If hey. I had a daughter and she was like, "I'm gonna marry this poet," I'd be like, "Oh, what are you like? Some kind of classist? Is that what you are?" No, no, no. Is that what you are? No, I just hate poets. And I would say, "No daughter of mine will marry a poet." Yeah, so hear that. Take a fucking hike, Robert Frost. Out of there, T.S. Eliot, get out! Elab1115 on Instagram says, when can we get the next episode? Next week, or this week. <laughs> when does this come out, Wednesday? It'll be every Friday, 3 p.m. PST. Tim Van Engelen from Instagram says, what, were your, what was your guys' go-to food in your college days, and what do you think Edgar's would have this been? This has nothing to do with the case. It says, man. what do you think Edgar's would have been? So yes, very much so. I what was your go-to college food? Ramen. Like every, I mean, I know that seems stereotypical, but ramen you know what I, you was know, mine, and I used to cook and I used to put an egg and boil it with the ramen. That's pretty cool. And it made me feel like a fancy little chef, man. You're a fancy little chef, man. Thank you. What about uh, you ever do Easy Mac? No, but I won't say that I hate Easy Mac. I have nothing but good memories with Love it. Love it. Um, what would Edgar have been into? I feel like he's like a steamed broccoli man. Well, apparently he went through a patch in his college days that was not good. So I, I think he was a whatever I could eat man. Mm, true. He was burning furniture. Shoe, shoe leather. Well, do you remember? Boiled he, shoe leather. He was burning furniture to yeah, stay wasn't, warm. Wasn't doing so His great. own furniture. Yeah. This one comes from Gramtown. Bethany, I love Gramtown. Bethany Nugis. She says, 
Poe was a heavy absinthe drinker. On the Wikipedia page for absinthe, it states that he was a big drinker of the stuff. This could explain his hallucinations, and if he was an active member enforcing temperance, he could have just snapped. Dealing with addiction would have led him to eventually crave it so bad, and he probably then went on a bender for the next five days. We've all been there. This would definitely explain the communication with specters people claimed he had before he died. Hashtag Shaniac all the way, but I love you, Ryan. Love to hear it. Do you not absinthe? Does it actually cause hallucinations? No, I don't think so. Anyways, this is kind of in line with the theory that we presented that Edgar Allan Poe just had alcohol, alcohol poisoning. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's my favorite theory. It's from Asha Kays. Ashy Kays? Asha Kaze? Hashtag postmortem. In your opinion, who is the superior Poe? Edgar Dameron or the Teletubby? I'm gonna go Dameron. He's really good at that X-Wing, baby. You see him knock those guys out of the sky and that- That is one hell of a pilot! <laughs> yeah! That's if good. Finn says it's that. Good. Your turn, Ryan. Ask a question. Thank you, Shane. I appreciate the pass. You're welcome. This comes from Cine Phil EXO. Okay. The Raven did it. <laughs> this comes from, uh, let's see what it's we got here. Uh, That's pretty funny, the Raven did it. That's good. Yeah. That's yeah, good. It's uh, one of his creations. Yeah, he the wrote The irony. That. Uh, but Raven. the Raven in that story doesn't kill him, it's just the Raven is driving him mad, right? I know, but this is like, like a goosebump scenario where his uh, creations come to life. Good. That would be a good universe, actually. The Poe Extended Universe? The Poe Extended Universe. I went to a maze and not scary farm The called, PU? Um, I went to a, a maze and not scary farm called <laughs> called Nevermore. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I'm not going. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I well, tried really hard to suppress it, but you know what? You I'm, got fu me. I'm funny. You are, man. I'm a funny guy. Uh, he's a funny guy. <laughs> Shame of day. Funny guy. Uh, Nevermore. They had a maze that was based on all of his uh, scary tales, and we walk through them and see them come to life. Did he, did like a little Poe come out and like kiss you? Uh, this comes from Queen Keline from okay. Klein. I don't know if it's all Americans or just you, but the way you say the word macabre makes me very uncomfortable. Now this is funny because we had a big discourse about this. Now, on set. This, this is why I picked this question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It is. It is. Get um, into it. Uh, remember, we had a nice little discussion yeah. about whether you pronounce <clears throat> the ruh macabre. Macabre. You, you, but the correct, uh, the correct pronunciation. There's two. If you go to Oxford Dictionary and like a bunch of other ones, Merriam-Webster, they have two pronunciations, which is uncommon. Normally, there's only one. One pronunciation is macabre. The other one is macabre. I think that I argued in favor of macabre. I think that's the generally accepted pronunciation. That's what we went with in the episode. But yeah. I knew this question was going to come up. And I think the people who are arguing in favor of the other pronunciation the, uh, are wrong. Um, I think that, I think that's true. <laughs> it's macabre. Also, that's more fun to say. You know what, like that extra, that's all, just All baggage. I can think is maybe if, if you put a little mustard on the end, like macabre. Like, um. You're the mister of the macabre. Maca macabre is not how you pronounce that. It just feels like a, a little bit of weight Also, I, I don't know what they're leveling at us here with, I don't know if it's just you Americans. Where are you from exactly? Well, here's I, a, that, I, I don't mean that in a xenophobic way. <laughs> Here's here's the. Uh, I just genu genuinely want to know I was where to you're from. Get away from that, and, <laughs> and, and how you pronounce it. So. Here's from Zotopil on Instagram. What are your thoughts on Poe mumbling the name Reynolds over and over before his death? Do you think it was someone he knew, perhaps a murderer, someone he was drinking with? Was there a reason it wasn't mentioned in the episode? Love you, beautiful ghoul boys. Heart emoji. Hmm. Maybe he's just a big fan of Deadpool. I've never seen those movies. So stupid. There's two of them, right? Yeah, there's two. Two's pretty good. I do think, obviously, it was somebody he knew. Whether or not it was somebody involved in the murder is another thing, though. Uh, why didn't we? Why didn't we include that in the episode? I remember. I mean, I do recall him saying that, but I don't remember any figure that that could connect to. It could be a murderer. It could be just a friend that he had a drink with one night, and it was like Reynolds. Good night. So we're talking about the cooping scheme. Maybe Reynolds was one of the ruffians who then forced him to drink so that he would go and coop. Possibly, that's just a guess. But as far as like the research that I've done, I don't remember anybody in his life named Reynolds. This comes from YouTube. This is uh, from SessXX. She says, Ryan, do you really like Shane? Or is it all an act? Ryan and I are not actually friends. Uh, certainly, we're very good. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, outside of the show, we actually don't uh, speak to each other. As soon as they say cut, 
we sort of go our separate ways. How uh, dare you? Well, it's a lot, what, to, to let them in on this? It's a lot like the Mythbusters, you know, those, those weirdos, um, you know. We're yeah. happy to work together. We're certainly colleagues. Well, also, we, um, we spend more time with each other probably than any other human. At the, when you combine all the hours in the office and the time that we're shooting, yeah. now especially, it's uh, to, to, to see him at home as well? And in, in, what? In fact, uh, you know, you have to understand, we are actors. Um, <laughs> my name is Brad Pistachio. Yeah, and I'm uh, Brian Cramblish. Yeah, and we play the characters Shane Madej and Ryan Bracara, and it is the honor of a lifetime. To me, it's kind of hard to distinguish with him as a character, more so as a different fragment of my own persona. Yeah, I, I and, have certainly whittled... As, as you know, this is a scripted show. It is. Uh, and you know, that is widely known, I believe. And, I, and I, uh, all of the cast and crew are beautiful people. We have a very lovely director. Um, he's very patient with us, lets us play so much on set, and... Uh, he really lets us play, and, and that, as an actor, is the... Is the most liberating when thing. when you have space to play. To be unshackled creatively. And you have to understand, we did start out on vaudeville. Pistachio and Cramblish. Well, I was more trained on the, the, the stage of the Bard, myself, but... You do... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 don't get him started on the Bard. <laughs> you know, me and Bill. Like that. Like peanut butter and shit. Anyways, enough about us and the craft. Us kids could talk all day. But, uh, Good question. Is it time for Rose Morton? I think it is. Rose Morton! I know it's time for Rose Morton. The second of the show that has a new shirt that you can get on hottopic.com. Baby! I choked on my own spit. It is Rose Morton time. All right, we're going to burn through these, baby. Rose Morton. I'm not even able to. Here's from you yeah. to Rose Byrne. I don't know. Well, uh, Shane looks like a guy from the 70s who's deeply entrenched in the burgeoning porn scene and trying to finance his heroin habit while in deep debt to the local New York City mafia. Look me in the eyes and tell me he doesn't. He doesn't! I doesn't! <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a good roast. Is that a tasty roast? <laughs> 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 Moving on to the next roast, this comes from FHA-FHA! Oh. <laughs> I can't even understand you. <laughs> this, is, this is like Batman if he did a lot of cocaine. I'm not this wearing hockey pants! FHA! Not everything! Not yet! The macabre death of Ryan's hairline! Oh shit! <laughs> Actually, um, uh, I can't make my hair go back because every time I do that, it just makes it look like I have a 10-foot forehead, which I do. You have always had a large but forehead. But if you look back, even at the old episodes... Your dad has a large forehead, too. It I've always the had the same hairline. It's unfortunate. Yeah, it's still there. It's always been that way. But when my hair gets too long, the sideburns kind of create this, like, arrow pattern. And, and if I pull, And if I pull it back... And the size of the forehead. Yeah. I don't, that's why I'm just trying to figure out how to have long hair, and I didn't really quite get it. Anyways, yeah, back to the house. Good on one. To the Here's one. from Oscar Dreaming. I feel like Ryan is slowly absorbing Shane's extra forehead. Oh, 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 okay. I'm happy to back to the forehead I'm thing. More power. Yeah, this is cut from Nate Sinclair. Why do you guys look like bum? <laughs> no offense though. There's a housing crisis right now. You need to be more empathetic and start <laughs> thinking about human beings as human beings, even if they're down on their luck and maybe don't have a good solution for living, because sometimes it gets tough out there. There's another world besides you. Maybe you should open up your eyes and your heart. Great. That's right. been Rose Mortem, everybody. That's wow, good. That was, a, that was a good week. Oh man, my heart's beating so fast. Yeah, I so really much got adrenaline really coming up. through my veins. Yeah. So, <clears throat> Ryan, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, feel free to answer this. Yeah. If you're hesitant to, you don't have to. If you do want to answer it, then be my guest. Get on with it. Okay. And again, I'm only asking this out of I'm just purely interested. What's coming up this week? Comment, think and be very careful with your words. Be very careful. Because this is going on the internet. It's, you know what? Let me ask you this. Let me okay, ask you, let me I'm all your, ears. I'm all ears. Ask I asked you a question. Yeah, 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 let me answer your yeah, question yeah, yeah, with yeah, a question. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, all right. What do you think of the fictional novel Dune? Uh, it's good. I'm excited for the 
films with that really good cast. It doesn't have anything to do with the story, but kind of a clue. Oh, interesting. You do know what the next episode is, don't you? It's about giant worms? We'll see you next week. <laughs> Oh, you have a little spiel you do at the end here. Oh yeah, that does it for this episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved. post border make sure you tune into the next episode and send in your questions to the BuzzFeed Unsolved Facebook page, the BuzzFeed Unsolved Instagram page, or comment directly on the video. On the bun. bun! And maybe we'll you you'll be- at the movies. You may be, you'll be on the next episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved post-mortem.